up, everyone? I'm your female otaku, and I'm here to review the finale episode, episode 12, to Aoharu Kikanju, or Aoharu Machine Gun. And this finale, this very episode, can be summed up with just one word. LAME! Oh, wow. Ah. Do they really have to resort to that kind of an ending? You see, let me have a discussion with you guys, okay? I hate false advertising. Aoharu Kikanju advertise itself as an action shonen, okay? Not like, you know, your classic type of action shonen ones that we're used to seeing, but you know, just like, uh, just an action series, okay? And you know, it's a survival game, so that's interesting. We don't get survival games today where people don't die, okay? So it was original in that aspect and it got me interested, including with its animation. So we were all hyped up and ready. First half was nothing but preparation, okay? That's fine, we're getting into the game. Game ends within like an episode or two, all right? Uh, I guess we're gonna bounce back up. No, instead it ends with friendship and feelings. Sounds good? Recommend it to your friend. Friendship. Feelings. Woo! Ah, man. Ah, I was really disappointed with that ending. Because you see, a couple weeks ago, I predicted... I, I like uh, talked to some of you guys in the comments a couple weeks ago. I think it was maybe episode 10. And uh, I talked about how I feel like that it might resort to a friendship and feelings ending. And it did. You see... I'm okay if something has friendship and feelings in it. That's fine. It's just that Aoharu advertised itself as an action anime. So I expected there to be action because that's what it advertised itself, okay? It was telling us to expect action. We got very little of it and majority of it was all friendship and feelings. Yeah. Yep, uh, pretty disappointed with that. <sighs> it could have done so much more, especially with Hotaru and her bloodlust. You see, I was really hoping that they would address that, how they would address that she is confusing her sense of justice with bloodlust, okay? And I actually had a simmer, simmer of hope because Matsuoka, he mentioned it. He said it only once within this episode. He was all like, sense of justice what is this this she's like a maniac okay you see that once and i was like are you finally gonna address this nope mm -mm. so this was hotaru's way of saving matsuoka to be honest i don't see at all how this saved him this kind of really just saved her because now she's back on the team uh yeah <sighs> very disappointed very, very disappointed. <sighs> I wish we had more Midori and Fujima now because towards the second half of the series, when we met those guys, they stole the show, okay? They, these guys were so interesting that all we wanted to see was them, all right? So, very, very disappointed. And if there's a season two, I don't know if I'd watch it. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, that's the finale. That's the show. What do I rate it? Uh, probably a 5.5. Yeah, let's go with a 5.5. It's extremely average, and uh, it's false advertising. And I hate false advertising. I really do. Alrighty, so catch me later as I review Roka no Yusha, Durara the Second Arc, and Charlotte. I'm a female otaku, sayonara.